This week, much of North America found itself in the dark. From New York to north of Boston to west of Toronto, the lights went out. 30 million people were plunged into darkness and chaos. The Hydro Public Relations man came to our studio to explain it all. Hello. Uh, first, on behalf of all the power and electric companies involved, I want to apologize to all our consumers for any slight inconvenience that may have been caused. If your lump roast was ruined, if your car got smashed up, if your appendectomy was interrupted, we're sorry. Uh, in particular, we want to offer a special apology to Governor George Wallace of Alabama. The governor was at a wedding when the blackout occurred. There was apparently some confusion, and when the lights went on again, it turned out his sister had married one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Governor. Uh, but having got that out of the way, I think we can all agree that this little incident has been blown up out of all proportion by the newspapers. They keep asking what would happen if a blackout occurred at the same time as a nuclear attack. Isn't that silly? I mean, if they drop an atomic bomb on my house, I don't particularly want to see it anyways. <laughs> you know, in many ways, I think this little failure was a good thing. It showed how well man can adapt to any circumstances. At Mount Sinai Hospital, three babies were actually delivered during the blackout, and mothers and babies are all doing just fine. In fact, I understand the Hydro Commission will be giving each of these three babies a $100 Canada savings bond just as soon as they figured out which baby belongs to which mother. <laughs> now, you may have been reading about our wonderful new giant central computer at Niagara Falls, which automatically regulates and distributes electricity throughout the whole Atlantic seaboard. Now, some people have suggested that it's become too complex to handle, that it's become some sort of monster beyond our control. Now, this is, of course, sheer nonsense. It is we, human beings who have created this, this computer and we know perfectly well how to control it. Every second Tuesday, we simply place before it a bowl containing the blood of a newborn lamb and two <laughs> blonde virgins, and it never gives us any trouble. In conclusion, let me just say this. Don't, don't fret over this little mishap. Just go about your daily business. Have faith in your power companies and carry a flashlight at all times. <laughs> You'll get more from life, you see, if you live better electrically. Yeah.